Claudia Eisen for like that. <laughs> and a new Irish record for Phil Healy, 22.99. Christy Cooney hands over the Sam McGuire Cup to Graham Canty, Cork All-Ireland Champions for the seventh time ever. Hello and welcome to episode 23 of the Star Sport Podcast. My name is Jack McCarran of the Southern Star and I'm joined as always by Star Sport Editor, Kieran McCarthy. We have a slightly different, shorter format to today's show due to summer holidays and the likes, but we couldn't possibly leave our listeners without something this week. And Kieran, instead of the usual, we're going to hear an interview you did with four very talented West Cork Camogie stars recently. Yeah, over the last um, year or two, Jack, um, West Cork have been supplying a steady stream of Camogie players to the Cork Minor team. And the Cork Minors won the All-Ireland again this year. That's back-to-back All-Irelands. And there were five Carberry um, players on that Cork Camogie panel. Um, Unfortunately, Sinead Hurley wasn't around recently when... Um, she was on holidays when the, 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 five Cork, the, the five Cork Miners were presented with a Carberry GA monthly award. But we were very lucky that Kira O'Sullivan, Tara Sheehan, Hannah Sexton and Claire Kingston joined us here in the studio for, 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 for a chat about the about Cork's All-Ireland win and their, their hopes for the future and their heroes. It was a really interesting and enjoyable chat with four very talented local sportswomen. OK, well, let's hear from... The four ladies now and uh, thanks for joining us on this week's show. Delighted to be joined on the Star Sport podcast this week by four of the five Carberry ladies who won All Ireland Camogie um, won the All Ireland Camogie title earlier this year with Cork. First off, congratulations. Um gonna introduce you all one by one. We have Hannah Sexton from Kilbritton, we have Kira O'Sullivan from Newcestown, we have Tara Sheehan from Inneskeen and Claire Kingston from Banniscarte and we're missing Sinead Hurley from Inneskeen. She's away at the moment. So, like I said, congrats on winning the Carberry Monthly Award. Is it great to be recognised in, in your own backyard with an award like this? Um, yeah, definitely. I think so. Um, this year and last year we got huge praise and like, um, yeah, praise from all the people in our clubs after winning the All-Ireland and even throughout the group stages I just felt anyway coming back to my club like um, everybody was so supportive and stuff mm-hmm. through all the match- matches and like I don't know I think it's down to social media as well like people yeah. really um, take notice of the matches and how we're getting on and the scores and everything throughout the yeah, year. it's constant praise I mean even, even in my village like people come up to me you know T- top stars even who you'd look up to in the men's GA field mm-hmm. as well who'd come up to you on the weekend and say oh well done yesterday yeah. or yeah, even you know, work now. and it's just nice to hear as well from a men's perspective saying oh the equality you know it's just nice to hear that like they have interest in our games yeah, as, they, well they and as well all that but no it's Nice there there seems to be more awareness now, doesn't there? Like I know the twenty by twenty kind of initiative is going on at the moment. It's to raise awareness of of all ladies' sports, but there seems to be more awareness of ladies' games in general. Like kind of you're 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 starting to see that people are kind of commenting more, and there's more interest in, in what's going on. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think so, especially with um the women's World Cup and soccer mm-hmm. is going on at the moment, and the coverage for that is amazing. Mm-hmm. It, like people are really taking an interest into it, and like with the hi- Irish hockey team the yeah. ladies they got to the world cup final i just think the coverage and within our own locality like the spread we had on the star now over the yeah. past few days like <laughs> yeah, exactly, the past yeah. few weeks i mean to say god it was it was amazing like it's great coverage like yeah and on social media like instagram now like cork mogi have it up mm-hmm. everywhere yeah, yeah. yeah. When it, and cork GA, they have it up whenever we have matches and yeah Let's let's look back at the reason why you're here in the first place, winning the All Ireland. Um, let's look back at the group stage. Claire, does anything stand out for you from from the group stage? Um. Well, we had Tipperary first in the group stage, and mm. then we were just we just lost that day. We had um we didn't really know each other, and we didn't really feel like we'd enough done. But um we kind of felt like we had a point to prove. Then after that, we built a lot of momentum going on forward. We're very lucky we beat um. Dublin and Wexford then before we beat Galway. Uh, we, we drew at Galway then to go forward on scoring difference, so it was 
fantastic really we're, I think we're lucky to get that lose at the start of the championship mm. it really drove us on there yeah. yeah we were building up we were very from scattered to be yeah fair. tip match I mean I hadn't played I'd say with I'd say I played with max six girls in that team starting team we were kind of we built like I mean the momentum was constantly building after yeah, the temporary after point if we had a point to prove then yeah. like we wanted to drive it on yeah to drive on and we wanted yeah. to get to the final from the tip match I felt like talent was just pouring out of our team yeah. at the start of the year. Like on paper, we looked amazing, but when the All Ireland series is first at the start of the year, like we genuinely had maybe about five challenge matches before. Mm. Like you just don't have yeah. the time. Like, and it's just then all about commitment and work right after the first match and mm. desire. Really, I suppose yeah. is what really yeah. got us through yeah, the rest like, of it. Yeah, after the tip match, we just knew. Like we had it in us to yeah. win it. We knew we had it. Like all the girls, all the players, and the talent on the team. Yeah. And then, like after the tip match, after losing that, we just didn't know. I suppose but to play Galway was probably our biggest yeah, test were, throughout the whole season. I mean, yeah, they are the top team that you aspire to be just as good as. Yeah. And to come out and you know we all we needed was just a point, just to beat them by a point, and to come out with the draw at the end was like. Yeah, you know, yeah. Really us, now. The under sixteen girls, we lost to Galway last year in the All Ireland final. A good beating. As a good, well. yeah, it was a right hammering. But in this, then when we played them, up was it? Oh, I don't know where it was. Galway up anyway, up and Galway, yeah. then to come out with the draw that day, it was like it was nearly as good as winning the All Ireland yeah. final. It felt like an All Ireland. It felt like an All Ireland final. It meant so much to all of us. You all mentioned it nearly one point there. The word momentum, kind of. Could you feel the belief starting to kind of build and course through the team as, as you were go- going through the group stage into the semi-final against Kilkenny and then the final? Was there a real belief there that you felt we're actually going to go, go do this, we're going to win the All-Ireland? Yeah, I think the Galway match was a real yeah. turning point. Turn. Like, <laughs> we just knew from then on we were like, we could be yeah. unstoppable. Oh, yeah, we just felt it set in stone within our own group, like within our own trainers, in our own dressing room. We wanted it. Like we, After having bet Galway, we, just, we wanted it. We'd put yeah. anything on the line then after yeah. that and going up then to Waterford WIT to play Kilkenny it was just fantastic like nothing was going to stop us that day because yeah, of the we momentum just, yeah we've we were built. just filled in the whole time like having yeah. having playing Dublin and Wexford after the tip match that helped us yeah. kind of build Huge. up and then yeah. yeah we were able to kind of it, we were able to build up all our work grade and everything and then we were flying going into the Galway match yeah just prepared us what's the stand up memory from the final so against Clare I mean the second half really yeah. like our backs the, the yeah. first half was very I mean it took a long time for Claire to get into the game I feel like yeah. we started we were like, flying yeah. and second half then not that the ref went against us but it, you know we were under pressure there was a yeah. lot of catching up yeah. I mean there was one point Emma Murphy like oh, was getting well, I was thinking, yeah. and pressure was on and I mean the ref the just choices went against us decisions yeah. and I, um, yeah I think so too in the first half anyway it was fantastic we were winning we were scoring I just I knew myself I was in a state of shock I didn't know what yeah, was happening yeah we were just able to like we judged yeah. their puck outs perfect fantastic. every time and we were just able to attack them and just keep going scoring yeah. and scoring and scoring and as Claire said then like in the second half things did change like dramatically mm. and yeah. obviously the wind was a huge factor that day but um, I don't know I just felt like it was the fact that we were able to drive on then having all those like factors against us mm-hmm. yeah. that we were able to drive on and succeed that day was just amazing and even though Claire, Claire did mount a comeback you never felt under real pressure or is that fair to say you always felt in control of that game yeah, yeah I think in the first half since we built up such a high scoring in the first half it kind of it didn't put us in a comfortable position but mm-hmm. we were still we were able to build on it yeah and it's then, hard though to go in Go, home, go into the dressing room, you know, what, 10 points up yeah. and say, how do we drive it on, you know, and face a clear team that's going to come out of the dressing room and Tearing drive it onto it for the second half, you know. But um, when, came out in the end. when the final whistle went in, you were all Ireland champions. What was that initial feeling like? You know, I know, Kira, you've experienced it before, you were involved last yeah. year, but yeah. what was it like kind of to know, like, you've finally got to where you wanted, you've worked for this for a long, long time, you're, you're, you're the best in the country. What's that feeling like? It's unbelievable. Like, yeah, it's so, like, it we. Nearly Sylvie in disbelief. Over yeah, it. Like we were only talking about it walking to yeah. the studio mm-hmm. here. We were only talking about it how, like, if I think about it now, I still can't believe it. Yeah. Like, I yeah. could not believe it at the start of like, this year, back in January training. I, I knew it was going to be up against us to go and do a double, mm-hmm. to go and even beat all the counties again. Oh, it was just fantastic. Yeah, to have an All Ireland by the month of April. 
Yeah, it's, just, it's like yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, it feels like all the hard work paid off. Yeah. And that's that's a great point in All Ireland by the month of April because I know one of you will explain to me why the All Ireland is played before the Munster Championship. It's kind of it's only it's only in ladies minor camogie thing that happens, yeah. is it? That's kind of. And I I think it's slightly better off. I do think it's a better idea. Like for yeah. leave inserts, I or like for uh, yeah. for minor age, I think it is better because summer is just such an awkward time with yeah. holidays, with leaving cert holidays, mm-hmm. and also then with club championship. I feel like that's a major factor because club championship is always pushed out into August anyway and delayed throughout the year that it's just to have this competition over before summer starts I think it's fantastic because yeah, you want to concentrate on your club as well it gives yeah. the girls a nice break as well before the championship with your club and the once they start you know, yeah. the girls doing leaving cert yeah for the leaving cert it is a massive like they could just focus on their results exams, and yeah. exams now after all Ireland and like Jerry now uh, he's they're all, like all of our managers they're all great for giving us time off and yeah. 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 to let us focus on school, like, school and everything commitments, yeah. 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 how much do you want to win Munster because I know Cork won the minor All Ireland last year but didn't win Munster yeah. so is it something kind of if you're going to know it's All Ireland champions kind of is there pressure to win Munster or what's, what's the thinking going into the championship yeah I think there is kind there, of, is, there is a pressure like a natural pressure though yeah. like not being forced on us not but like forced. it's just kind of you feel like you should yeah we have the two best like you have the three best teams in the country in the monster championship us Tipperary and Clare so like they're all going to be out they're going to be gunning to yeah beat us, us. Yeah. like yeah. we just we're know that you know? yeah we feel like we're the people um, think that yeah. we're the team to beat now mm. like that they want to prove that maybe they should have beat us on a certain yeah. day so like there is a pressure but I don't believe that will uh, I think we have the talent and yeah and, and the commitment we, uh, yeah yeah. Um, like I mentioned okay. earlier, Kira, you've won two or, two All Irelands now. You were involved in the team last year as well. And that that was along with your own clubmate Ashton O'Donovan from Newcastown and Myra Barrett from Battle So what's for you? How important? How special is it to win back to back All Irelands? It's it's crazy. I'm actually still like I'm in disbelief, but mm. it's fantastic. Like even the recognition I got last year was amazing but the recognition I got this year was something else even going into my own workplace and just getting that recognition this year like I couldn't get over it and back in Noosa's town all the different age groups now like all the girls and the boys around the club like it's amazing I, uh, can't, I can't get over it anyway obviously the, 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 the four of you here plus plus Sinead like the five the five Carberry players on, on the Cork panel but there was there was three last year. Like it isn't it great here for for local players to be picked at county level. Like you're you're really making an impact, and it's great for Carberry Camogie in general. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, mean yeah. coming like isn't and it's great for even club championship now. Like isn't we're playing with Carberry at the moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're playing championship now on Sunday. But even playing with Banaskarthi, it's so nice to play combine together and just even play at the top top senior level, mm-hmm. especially you know, and it gives us a chance as well for a future for intermediate and senior to even have the chance to get, get recognised there. Yeah. And, you know, it's a great and you know the trainers as well, they're very understanding and all the girls, but um yeah. you know, it's, it's it's good, like, you know. It's fantastic. Like to to have three on the team last year we thought was yeah. unreal, but then five this year, it's amazing. And like yeah, it's just throughout the age groups now under sixteen, I know there's girls from West Cork mm-hmm. and uh under fourteen as well, there's yeah. loads, but Hopefully they can drive that on now and keep it going because at senior level we're doing well with like Orla Cronin and Libby Coppinger and the yeah. likes of those girls all playing senior camogie. The Carberry. likes of Libby there, you said Libby and Libby and Orla obviously with the with the Cork seniors. Are they the yeah. sort of players that you kind of that you're going kind to of look up to and you want to get to where, where they are the level they're at? Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. With Orla in the club as well, it's been great being able to watch her. You know what she's able to do is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. the commitment that they have. Yeah. Like it's Libby now, like she's the jewel. Cork star at the moment and like yeah. I think it's great having her in West Cork and like she's a real motivator I oh think. it's fantastic yeah it really is I just yeah I find we look up to them so much like even now in the Carberry, Carberry dressing room as Claire was saying like to look around and see all those girls and to imagine that we're playing with them yeah, and, and all like, the talent inside there is yeah, just unbelievable it's amazing you kind of mentioned dual players there do, 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 do any of you play football as well is it just, just come over here yeah, I was. I did. I played under sixteen Cork football last year, um, and shortly, uh, unfortunately, in April we cut it short. We lost to uh, Tip in the Muslim final. But um, no, as in I 
taking a break from football this year like just solely because mm -hmm. of the minor team but um no i find it really great for fitness i mean last year when i was in the football it helped so much with their 16s and um, just that extra bit of fitness and running because football is so so much work rate as well yeah and, yeah which can move you but um no i do think i like the balance and yeah mm -hmm. hopefully now after i'll get back into football now shortly since all learning but yeah, um, there's four girls yeah. on our minor team, is it? This yeah, we had four that are dual and players. Brilliant. Yeah, Alston, and yeah. last year as well, yeah. there was definitely I think four girls as well mm -hmm. last year tier four. Like it's amazing. It what I find helps so much anyway is that uh the John I think is the yeah. name of the football trainer and Nothing. Jerry our Kamogi trainer they work so well together. Yeah, the mm -hmm. communication lines yeah. are always open and they're always. Like the it girls makes never everything, have to choose. Yeah, it makes everything so much better because those girls are comfortable turning up to the trainings that they've been advised to turn up to yeah. Yeah. and then everything just flows so much easier. Yeah. As well as the likes of Orla and Libby, who are the heroes in your own clubs that you looked up to when you were younger? Is there any, any players in particular that, that you, you wanted to emulate and be like? Um, you, can take, you can take this one by one. Yeah, definitely <laughs> for me anyway, I'm from Town and Maeve Lynch is on the intermediate team now yeah. since she was 17 or 18 and I find her an inspiration to be on such a team at such a young age and also Rose, uh, or sorry, Colette Desmond, her sister Rose as well. Yeah. Um, uh, Colette was on um, uh, Cork teams like Cork Intermediate, Cork Juniors and I, I just find her such an inspiration. Yeah. Like to be on court teams and playing with our club and the commitment is unreal. Hannah, you're next. I don't know, there was just, um, I actually couldn't pick, I really couldn't, like there was so much talent in the club. Like we have three on the Cork Intermediates at the yeah. moment, mm -hmm. Caroline Murphy, Anya Crowley and Kate Wall. And I just like, I think it's class that that three in the club. And then, I don't know, I really couldn't pick a senior player like from the club. There's just so much. Tara? Yeah, I'm like Hannah now, I yeah. couldn't just pick one. Like obviously Orla Cohen is um, one of the main ones, but there's a couple of other girls as well. Like mm. I think Orla Coughlin is amazing, just like she's just what she dedicated to the club is unreal. And there's a couple of other girls there as well that have been our Cork team, so way up and it's great. They always drive you on to be the best you can be. Claire? Um, <laughs> I would say, now we are talking Camogie now, so yeah. I'm saying, I would say Martin O'Brien, yeah. yeah. the Cork goalkeeper, I mean, um, even last year like her presence on the pitch is just something else I mean I was we played junior B championship with Valsetti last year and I was 16 15 coming onto it yeah. and like very young I played started centre back and just the girl was so encouraging like you know always constantly speaking to you on the pitch and not don't be nervous just play as well as you can and she's such a support that she, you know she just drives you on and as 15, 16 year old girl coming up against big, strong 25 year olds, I was just, you know, in a bucket of nerves. Mm -hmm. And she was just so soothing, obviously, as well, Moira Barrett. I mean, you yeah. know, to captain the All Ireland final last year and to play next to her in my club, you know, with minor championship last year, um, it's, it's sort of unbelievable. And, you know, she was great as well. Like, even this year, constantly asking me, you know, how are you getting on? Yeah. And yeah. always checking up as well. So she's a great inspiration as well. Yeah, that's great to hear. And it's, it's worth noting too that. The Kira, Tara and Sinead, E1 Munster Junior medal with yeah, Cork, yeah. Cork as well. Like that was been fantastic after winning an All Ireland to be in with the juniors and into win Munster. So yeah, it, I felt I don't know that was just amazing. Yeah. Like that kind of came out of nowhere. We yeah. got two days after the All Ireland final, we got a text about a junior team and we just hadn't a clue what was happening and we arrived on anyway. And sure, what do we know? But two and a half weeks later, we had another medal mm -hmm. yeah, right. and. I felt anyway with that team it was fantastic to play with girls of different ages mm -hmm. like that was great because as Claire was saying there to have like a strong voice yeah. like when you're the bucket of nerves playing um with an older like 25 year olds like it's those 25 yeah, like year olds they, on your team they, then. they motivate you and yeah you kind of, definitely like, you want to be as good as them exactly you want yeah. to be as good as them and they had experience as well from the last few years so yeah. Able to, yeah before I let you go so um What's your kind of aspiration going forward? Like, what do you want to achieve in Camogie? Like, again, you can go one by one. So, I'll actually start at the back this time. Well, Claire. we will, with Bals working away last year, it was a 10 year plan. We said, always said, we want to do the county. We want to do the county. So, I want a junior A county yeah. final medal this year with Bals County. So, we'll see. That's what I want. I don't know what you Yeah, mean. I'd love the Monster Minor medal. Um, yeah. We won the Leave It in a Ski now for Lisco and Intermediate. So, it'd be great now to go on a River Championship as well. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, I think a county senior medal with Carberry. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I think that'd be mm -hmm. just so unbelievable because yeah. like the 
talent down here. It's something else. I think we have, like, I yeah. think we have the potential to do it. But uh, yeah, a county senior medal anyway. Um, for me anyway, I definitely want to win the monster with the minors this year because I felt that's something that we missed out on last year and okay. we shouldn't have missed out on it. Mm. So that's something I want to rectify. And also, I'd like to win the intermediate championship in Nooses Town. Um, <laughs> just beat Tara. <laughs> <team. laughs> yeah, and also, I kind of want to do well with minor in Nooses Town as well. Because last year, we got to the minor A final. Mm. And after a draw and a replay, we lost the second match. So I'd love to rectify that as well. Kira will have to get an extension at home if she wins all these medals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, I don't know if that happened at all. No, that's brilliant. Come here. Thank you so much for, 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 for joining us again. Thank you. Congratulations on a fantastic season. So, to Kira, Henna, Tara, and Claire, thank you so, so much for, for joining us. I appreciate it. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for listening to the Star Sports Podcast. Don't forget to pick up this week's Southern Star featuring our award winning sports section that has everything a sports fan in West Cork could want. Available every Thursday in shops across West Cork and online from anywhere in the world. The Southern Star, number one for sport in West Cork.